Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how to compress an image using iPhoto or Preview. So sometimes you need to take a large image or a photo and compress it so you can send it by email or upload it to a website. Well, you can do that very easily with iPhoto, but if the photo is not in your collection there, you can also use Preview. Let me show you how to do either one. So in iPhoto here, you can select a photo like I've done right here and then go to File, Export. There you've got a lot of choices depending on what you have installed, but use the regular File Export function. Set it to Kind JPEG, which is best for compressing images, and then you set the quality to what you want. So if you want something really small but still decent enough quality, choose Low. Then you want to choose the size because your photo is probably huge and if you're uploading to a website you want it to be relatively small. So you can choose here a small, medium, large, or full size. You can also choose custom and choose exactly what you want. So you could say say the width, for instance, is uh, 200 pixels wide or even just the maximum dimension either vertically or horizontally is 200 wide. And then you can choose what type of file name to use and export it. So we'll export it here to the desktop and we're going to end up with, we won't replace that one, we'll create one called compressed and we'll end up with another file. Uh, so here we have both files. We can see that this first one, the original, is uh, 2,000 pixels wide. Uh, if I get info on it, we can see that its size uh, is a total of 668 or 672K. Uh, this one here, 200 by 150, uh, we could see is a total of 8K, actually more like 6K in size. Uh, if we use preview, we can see here's that photo there. It's compressed, uh, it's shrunk a lot on the screen. Here is the full size version of this one, which you can see is a typical size you may see in a gallery online or uh, just on a web page. So let's do that but using preview. So we have the file here. Let's uh, control click on it and we can say open with preview. And then we get the file here in preview. Now you can't just go and file, export, and choose a size uh, like you could before. You can choose JPEG and choose the quality but you can't choose the size. So what you want to do is you want to go to tools and you want to adjust the size to begin with. So we can do it here uh, 200 pixels wide um, and change the side size there. We'll unlock it. Um, we can view, let's do it, view actual size here so we can see it. Um, and there's the, the image. I can shrink the window a bit there. And then we can go to File, Export. And now JPEG and choose the quality. So somewhere in the middle there. Um, we'll do a Compress 2. Save it out. And now we end up with a, another file here on the desktop. We can get info on this one and see that so this, this one's going to be a little better quality. It's going to be 12K. And we can see that if we do the preview here, there's that one uh, as opposed to this, this one we exported from iPhoto. So the difference is that we chose a better, uh, higher compression for this. It's not that a preview does a better job of it. If we would go back to preview and choose a even lower uh, quality compression, then we would basically exactly the same thing. So the results are the same. It's just a matter of uh, one being able to do something from inside of iPhoto and the other one being able to do something with any file. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.